Okay, we're here with the great Quentin Crow and the great Andy Erickson. I say great because they're the two-time state champions. Uh, Quentin, so much has been made of the offense, and for good reason, the last couple of years. Do you see the defense has maybe taken up a, a bigger role with this this particular team? Yes, sir. I mean, we're losing Garrett and a lot of our line, but uh, a lot of people are also stepping up. Our defense got to this time last year with it's the loss of Garrett. Besides yourself, what kind of uh, who, who's going to step up defensive wise? Well, we got a new uh, linebacker in Austin Williams. Our uh, weak side linebacker is doing really great. This one's working really hard. And our uh, new defensive ends, uh, Shaq Marable, is going to make a lot of stuff up a lot over the offseason. Andy, uh, how's the the obvious difference is at, at one position quarterback? How's uh, the new quarterback uh, Robert uh, Michael Brewer been doing? He's great. What do you say to people that say, well, Garrett's gone, so don't expect Lake Travis to be a state contender this year? What do you say to those people? I don't say anything. I mean, actions speak louder than words, I think, and uh, I guess everyone's just going to see what happens. Does the experience of having been there two years, is that a benefit for you guys before the season starts? I think so. I mean, we know how hard we have to work. What do you say to those, those same people that they say, well, you know, they had their nice little run? Uh, it's not a run. It's not definitely like a they keep carrying all this. Is it, you know, they say winners breed winners. Is that especially true in your case? Yes, sir. All of our uh, past have uh, definitely helped all the people coming up. And we ourselves have been helping the younger kids. So it just keeps breeding. So. They are the Lake Travis Cavaliers that two-time 4A state champions, and uh, good luck to you both this year. Thanks.